Who are you? Many. You're many. What have you done in her life? Destroyed it. Destroyed it. How did you destroy it? <laughs> what have you done to destroy her life? What did you do to her uh, family? Tantrums. Tantrums. <laughs> what have you done to her finances? <laughs> right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, I come to you. Clean it up. They're dead. They're dead. They're dead. Makes it work better. <sighs> what have you done to her marriage? <sighs> I can't. You can't touch it. You answer in Jesus' mighty name. What have you done to your family? Destroyed it. You destroyed How did you destroy it? Just messed up all connections. You messed up, you messed up the connections with the family. Okay. Too many. How did you enter her life? Sexual intercourse. Sexual intercourse. When did you enter her life? How many of you there? <laughs> Many times. How many of you there? Get up on your feet. Grab on your feet. Open your eyes. Look who is this man right here. Can you come? Sir, can you come here? Can, can you come? Too much fire. Who is this man right here? Too much fire. Sir, who is this woman? Fire. Who is this woman to you? My wife. Yeah. Fire. What can you tell about her behavior at home? Sometimes she has like mood swings. They're high, low. Sometimes she... She tells me that I can't control my, my thoughts. You know, like my thoughts are being stolen from me. I'm feeling this down and low, so we'll pray. Mm -hmm. And um, she would manifest sometimes, and I would cast them out. I would cast them out. And, mm -hmm. um, and I guess there's still more, so hallelujah. What, what can you say about what she, uh, what the demon just confessed? Uh, family finances, can you confirm? Yes, yes, her, her mom, her dad. Well, not so much her dad, but her mom and her grandparents um, she has like this type of blockage uh, between them because I guess of some things that had gone on in their life, you know, relationship and she So the, re the relationships are broken, is that yeah. what you're saying? Okay. What about finances? Finances, low, like poverty, almost like okay. it's just broken. I have to so. understand that behind those issues is a demonic spirit and today she's going to be set free in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. You, you Jesus. evil spirit, in the mighty name of Jesus. You are in the arena of liberty and right now, this is time to go in the mighty name of Jesus. Loose your grip. You have to leave her right now in Jesus mighty name. Out 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 in Jesus mighty name. Loose her in the mighty name of Jesus. Loose her in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost fire all over her body in the mighty name of Jesus. You are free in Jesus' mighty name. Let's put our hands together for Jesus, church. Yeah. How are you doing? <laughs> Way better. Way better? Hey, praise God. Were you the one to say that you destroyed your family, your finances, your marriage? No. 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 That's just to show that the evil spirit that was inside of you has been expelled by the name of Jesus. God. And now you're free. Say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We welcome you here today to the Anointing Water Prayer Line in the United States. Can you please tell us your name and where you're from? Um, my name is Linnea Taylor, and I'm from Lakewood, Washington. And can you tell us uh, who is this man standing next to you today? This is Terrell Taylor, my husband. Can you tell us what is the problem that brought you here to the Anointing Water Prayer Line to receive prayer? I wanted to receive deliverance. Um, for the past month, my husband's been delivering me at home due to, um, I felt like I was just open. I went somewhere else to get delivered, but it, 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 it left me open to where I could just like see spirits moving and hiding. And so, um, he was delivering me. I was praying with TB Joshua. And then, um, yeah, I was like, it's, I need it all out <laughs> today. So that, yeah, that's pretty much it. And can you tell us what kind of things have happened in your life that would uh, make you to believe that you needed deliverance? Um, when me and my husband really started listening to TB Joshua's prayers and realizing what he was saying, like limitation and breakthrough in your business and poverty, well, the things that we were praying against, and I'm like, wait a minute, something's not right here. And like 
for um, years, me and my husband just didn't have enough. Like, we was always broke. <laughs> like, we were just poor. Like, we just didn't have enough. It didn't last through the month. Nothing lasted through the month. It was on DSHS for a long time, and it's just... There was like no increase. Every time it seemed like there was going to be an increase, it just nothing happened for us. So we just, we were just searching. <laughs> and we started praying more and praying and praying. And yeah, that's <laughs> and it broke through. So. And today as you're receiving that prayer with the medium of the anointing water, do you recall anything that was happening to you during that time? Um. I just remember, remember that I was shivering before he um, he sprayed me. I was really cold. I was like shivering. I'm like, why am I shivering? And um, I just remember uh, uh, tantrum, and I just went black. Like it just, I just went out, and some I don't even know. It just seems like a blur right now. <laughs> and um, yeah. <laughs> And what can you say uh, has happened in your life that has, uh, that this evil spirit has done in the area of your finances and in your marriage? Um, my marriage has always been great, but our finances have been horrible. Like nothing, like nothing would sell. My husband had his own Christ fitted business, but it just never, nothing sold. Like progressed. nothing progressed. It was just horrible, like just flat. And I knew I was supposed to be prosperous. I was like, I knew something. I know something's not right because I know. I know there's something wrong. Sir, can you please tell us your name and where you're from? My name is Terrell Taylor, and I am from Lakewood, Washington. And who is this woman standing next to you today? Uh, this is my amazing queen, Linnea Taylor. And Terrell, can you tell us today what uh, you experienced as you were witnessing your wife being prayed for in the anointing water prayer line? Um, I was really excited because uh, I knew that this was the final stop. Like my wife said previously, uh, we were going like a month of deliverance and um, I was casting these things out at home and that, you know, they were just coming out one by one every day or sometimes three at a, you know, at a time, but it was a lot of them. And I was like, God, you know, it has to be into this. We have to get this out. And uh, she looked up on online and saw, we start watching Hungry Generation and um, a couple of them start manifesting watching Hungry Generation. Every time, uh, uh, one of you guys would spray the water and she would feel like she got hit, you know, and she would start manifesting on the couch and I would just jump all over it, you know. And so um, but we was like, man, you know, we need to go. And so she looked up and saw that this was happening this month and next month. And I was like, no, we're going this month. This month is breakthrough. This is our year. It's it's the year of the Lord. So we're going to we're going to grow, exceed, excel. It's God's will. And it was, it's awesome. So. Amen. And do you believe that your wife has been completely set free and delivered from these evil spirits that have been tormenting her life and bringing about a financial lack? I do. I really do believe that she's completely set free. I mean, in the presence of God, what evil could stand? So <laughs> it's just amazing. I'm really excited and I'm so proud of her. She hung in there. She's a, she's a champ, you know. So. <laughs> and now that you have been, your family has been set free and delivered by the word of God, we encourage you to be ruled by the word of God so that this wonderful deliverance and healing can remain permanent in Jesus' mighty name.